I'm Mike, N2MAK, and I'm a big fan of the MobiLink TNC4. I picked it up earlier this year, and it allows me to do APRS and WinLink from any of my HTs, even a Bofang. But it'll also work with the ICOM 705. Let me show you how. But to be clear, I'm not an affiliate and the video is not sponsored. All the equipment that I'm going to use in this video I purchased on my own. One of the great things about MobiLink is that they sell different cables to work with a variety of radios. When I originally ordered mine, I got a cable for the Yezu FT4XR and also the Baofeng. But I recently got the cable so that I could use it with my ICOM 705. If you go to their website, this is the one you'll want for the 705. Well, it doesn't say ICOM 705. It works for me. Before I purchased it, I did some research and others had success with the same cable too. It's really easy to connect. Just plug in the cable to the radio and TNC. Then power them both on. Make sure the radio is in FM mode, not FM digital, like it was when I powered it on. You'll need to make sure the audio output settings are correct though. Open the app on your iPhone and click on the TNC to enter settings. Click audio output. Make sure this is set to multiplex. There's a test tone feature you can do to see if it's working correctly. You'll just need another radio to listen for it. You should also check the audio input settings. Adjust the volume accordingly so that the green bar occasionally touches the end. I found that with noise reduction on, I need to have the volume turned all the way up for this. But with noise reduction off, it's fine with the volume right in the middle. Since I'm an iPhone user, I have the Radio Mail app for WinLink. I can select a station to connect and retrieve messages. Just make sure the VFO on the radio is set to the right frequency. You have to do this manually, it's not automatic. I can also compose messages like this one to check into the WinLink Wednesday net. And to send messages from the outbox, you just need to connect again. One of the things that I've learned is that you don't want more than one app running and trying to use the MobiLink TNC4. That can cause problems, and I learned this on a recent trip. I was in my hotel room trying to do APRS and WinLink. However, I kept getting connection errors when using WinLink. Turns out that APRS.fi was running in the background. That was causing the problems. And while it was only a few short minutes of troubleshooting, it was still frustrating. Nonetheless, I'm glad that I learned. For APRS, I use the APRS.fi app. I just need to spin the VFO over to the right frequency. Once I open the app, I'll start the beacon. I can also send messages and check into the APRS Thursday net. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. I did a previous one that goes into a little bit more detail about the settings and the applications for doing WinLink and APRS using the TNC4 and a Bofang. I'll leave a link down in the description. If you got comments or questions, please leave them down below. If you haven't yet, click like, subscribe to my channel. I'm Mike, N2MAK, 73.